let's bring up Craig Malcolm. Good evening. My name is Craig Malcolm, and I'm a wankaholic. I'm also a leprechaun with ADHD. <laughs> so, uh, I was going to tell some, uh, some mother-in-law jokes, but uh, she's here tonight, and uh, she slaps a lot fucking harder than Will Smith, so forget that. <laughs> um, before I came to Canada, I was a tour leader, and uh, I ran tours in Africa, and uh, it was for two weeks and six weeks or whatever, so I used to run tourists up and down Africa, and um, they used to come up and ask me, like, fucking stupid questions. Fuck. It was always like, uh, are the elephants and the rhinos friends? <laughs> Other questions I get would be like, uh, are the, uh, where's the hippos? Do they have blowholes? Jesus Christ. That's where my hatred of people comes from, anyway. <laughs> Another question I get every single trip is it'll be a tourist turn up and they go, uh, you're not black. No. <laughs> no, well done. But I'm sassy, good dancer, and I got a massive cock. <laughs> so I have, uh, I have my Canadian citizenship now. And before I, uh, before I arrived in Canada, people were always saying to me, you know, Canadians, they're so polite, they're so nice, they're so caring. Do you know what happened 11 years ago when I arrived in Canada? The Canucks lost in the Stanley Cup Finals and you lot fucking smashed Vancouver up. <laughs> there was, f like, looting, there was tear gas, fucking police cars turned upside down and set on fire. It's like a Tuesday night back home in Scotland. <laughs> it's very welcoming. So recently, uh, I've just had a beautiful baby daughter. Thank you, thank you. And uh, my wife and I were trying for four years. That was a fun part. Uh, so in the end, we actually ended up going through IVF. And the thing with IVF is there's lots of medication, there's lots of these really long fucking javelin type needles that I had to stick into her. It turned into like a really weird version of like train spotting. Alright, get those progesterone spears in my ass. I've got to fatten up these ovaries. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucked up. So it was actually, it was IVF, right? It was, it was a very long and hard road that we had to go through. And, um... And I, uh, I find this next bit really, really difficult to talk about. Uh, we, uh, we had to go and see a, an obst 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 an OBGYN, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> so the mad thing about uh, IVF is you have to. I had to go and get my sperm tested, and um, you have to go and drop off the old sample after half an hour of <laughs> through the old business. I live a fucking hour away from the lab. And uh, at the time, I was a tool salesman and uh, had a van. So I came up with this idea. The wall do is park around the corner, jump out the van, get in the back, pull out my little uh, hammer drill. And then what I was going to do is uh, put it into the old thimble. <laughs> away, on one, away. What's that fucking tiny cup about, anyway? Huh? It's a tiny thimble they give you. It's like trying to do fucking keyhole surgery when you got Parkinson's. It's ridiculous. There's fucking shit loads of it. I filled the cup up. It was fucking loads of it. What is a measurement of sperm anyway? Is it a handful? Is it a gaggle? Mouthful? No one knows. So the other thing you have to do is once you've done this sample, you have to keep it warm. That's the, that's the big, you've got to keep it warm. So what I did, so I took the sample, put it in my jacket, put it under my armpit, and I went up to the counter and gave it to the lady, like a fucking chimp. Uh. It was like I was door dashing Chinese chicken soup. Mmm, salty. These noodles taste off though. Let that sink in. The other thing I learned about was the pregnancy mucus plug. 
So when I heard about this, I thought it was a J.K. Rowling character. <laughs> oh, and Harry's off to play with his friends, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, and Mucus Plug. <laughs> so I've got a really sweary nan. <laughs> That's a good segue. <laughs> so I was telling her, you know, all the stress we were going through through IVF and these big fucking crazy needles I was having to give my wife, and it was ruining our sex life. And she said to me, well, we're going to have to do it like we did the clothes washing in the old days. By hand. <laughs> so we're obviously, we're all getting older. We're all noticing that, right? Um, for me, my, uh, my ears are getting a lot hairier. And uh, my balls are getting a lot hairier as well. It's getting to the point where I'm looking even more like a fucking ginger hobbit. <laughs> my wife's calling me fucking Bilbo Bullbag. Anyway, thank you. That's my time. Uh, I better get back to work because I've got another delivery to make.